Hey there, Carissa Cruzy here. Hey, so today I want to talk about putting pricing on your website. It's a hot topic that um, I get asked about a lot, and so I just want to share uh, some tips and pointers for you um, if you are, you know, wondering what you should do. So I feel like there's three different ways that you can put pricing on your website, and I am a believer in putting some form of pricing on your website. And the reason for that is because we, as a consumer, no matter what we look to purchase, we want to have some idea if it's in our um, budget, if it's in you know our price range, and if it's not, we, you know, if we reach, if somebody reaches out um, and you're two, three thousand dollars over their price, their budget, you're going to get ghosted. And you're also, you know, and that bride or couple are going to kind of feel bad because you know what, they're not, you're not even close to their budget. And so it just kind of puts a bad taste in their mouth. And, you know, it's wasted your time, the couple's time. Um, So that's why I'm kind of a believer, um, or I am a believer, I should say, in putting some form of pricing on your website. Because we want to, one, weed out any people that are not in our budget or in our price range and we don't want to be wasted um, waste our time you know with those brides and couples that don't fit into our um, our prices and packages so the biggest thing it does is it weeds down the inquiries that we're going to get but the inquiries that we're going to get are going to be more viable and your closing rate, your booking will go up because you're not going to be dealing with those brides and couples that aren't going to buy from you anyways. So that is the biggest thing. I know that you're, um, it's scary a little bit because you think, oh, a competitor might see my prices. They already know your prices. It's not, um, they've either secret shopped you or um, they've had another bride share the information. So don't have that be the reason why you don't put pricing on your website. Um, they, I've done kind of a survey with my own brides and couples and they want to see pricing on the website. So I highly recommend if you don't have any pricing out there, put it out there. Um, the other, so to kind of get back to it, I have three options and it's going to depend on you, how you run your business, how the, um, the specific service you provide and, um, you know, just overall how your packages are. So, um, will depend on how you want to list your pricing. So on my website, I have for my brides and couples, I have the specific packages listed with the pricing. I, I have what's included. I, it's just all out there. They can see it. Um, there's nothing hidden. Um, and that's worked really well for us. So our, um, my closing rate um, on when a bride does reach out is 90%. Um, and I don't share that to kind of brag. I share that so that you know that it works. So the couples that are reaching out to me um, and to us are our ideal couples. And I've got a whole other course and program um, to help you build out, you know, and uh, figure out your ideal couples um, and build your packages and pricing so that you're nailing that. Um, so that's the biggest thing is what um, is what that pricing does for you. It will literally change your business um, because you're going to put energy and effort into those brides and couples that want to work with you and that you're offering that perfect package, that perfect service, what they're looking for. Okay, so the three options are, um, one is to put, you know, just put it out there, what your packages are, your, your, your services, what the pricing is. Um, so like I said, that's what we do. Um, the second option is to do a starting at price. Now, um, I only recommend a starting at price if your pricing price points are um, not too far of a gap. So let's say you, um, you're a you know, a DJ, for instance, and your pricing starts at $900. So you could do that. And maybe your top package is, you know, 1800. 
So you could say starting at um, because that would work well. Now, if you're a photographer and you have packages that start at, you know, 1500, we'll say, and then go up to 10,000, that is kind of misleading to the bride and couple because they're probably not buying a $1,500 package. They're probably going to want something that's in that, you know, five, six, seven thousand dollar range is my guess. So that's where the starting at doesn't work the best. The other thing is, is you can do a range. So that range, you know, you can say um, 1500 to 5000 That gives them some idea of where, uh, you know, where the the packages might fall when they reach out and if that would fit into their budget. So those are the those are the three main ways um, that I've found in working with my couples uh, or working with my um, wedding uh, pros and creatives and you know what has worked well with my website. Um, so there was a time where I didn't have pricing um, and um, it 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 weeded people away because they didn't know if we were even in their budget, if they, you know, wanted to waste time reaching out. It just didn't, it just didn't work well. So that is what I recommend um, for pricing. If you, on your website, if you have any questions, reach out. If you need help figuring out your ideal couple um, or bride um, or want help with your website, um, let me know. I'm more than happy to help. Um, So I will talk to you guys next time. See you later. Bye.